you can see the GPS smashed, broken. Um, just left right there inside of my room. Whoever was that browsed my belongings uh, did smashed me a GPS. Let me demonstrate. This costs a lot of fucking money because it's original from this Hong Kong that otherwise you cannot even use in the car, basically. So it's broken completely. Look what this is. This is very, very angry. And this stuff has been done within the last two weeks. Ka mi lahko odpreš? Vprašal bi te rad nekaj. Tukaj imam razbit računalnik v rokah. Si ga ti, si uniča ta GPS, ki je v sobi, si ga ti razbila pol. Mene zanima, če si razbila GPS. Ne boš odprla vrat, ne boš odgovorila, ničesar. Ok, hvala lepo, si prijazna. I am actually shaked. I haven't seen anything like this yet. I am shaken. This was like a lot of force that was used. I haven't seen anything like this yet. Uh, somebody appears was trying to pull it out and it just doesn't work like this. And these are the results, basically. A piece, a piece of it, of this uh, thing that is round, is like a ball inside and that's like plastic that allows you to turn, adjust the GPS, uh, is still in sight. Amazing. That's fucking amazing. Uh, there is a little bit more to this story uh-huh there is a little bit more to this story uh, somebody had the GPS turned on because the battery is dead and the part that you see right there is not my part this is the part that was stolen from my GPS after I refilled one uh, energized one um, fuck man, charge one just two weeks ago or something like that. Um, battery was very good. Everything was wonderful. It was charged and I store one next to the tablet. Uh, what else did I charge? Because I do this during the winter time to make sure that it's waiting on me in the spring. This was stolen from me by the police because they presented me this part during MK Ultra. This is not my part. This is the part that was literally stolen. And I remember they demonstrated me one during MK Ultra. So the battery also is dead, that it shouldn't be dead, and this thing here is stolen. My part is stolen. My original part from my GPS. They have stolen a lot of things, and this is just one of the things that was stolen. Mm. Battery? Maybe. Who the fuck knows?
maybe even stolen battery who knows see they stole everything the part which i demonstrated to you make no mistake the part was stolen from me the part was replaced from me the part was involved in mk ultra the one who refused to open the doors uh, i am re-recording this stuff because i lost it i completely lost my nerves with this stuff uh, the one who kept the doors closed the mother uh, was involved also in bullying in harassment in gaslighting pertaining to this particular gps now that's my mother let me demonstrate to you the way they do this stuff is like this whatever is not whatever does not come destroyed already damaged according to what they insisted it's going to be mk ultra it is done like this that uh, my mother takes the item out and she takes one to the neighbor and this neighbor is Slauka Yerman is right next door she's about the same age as my mom she prepares the coffee for my mom so my mom goes up for a coffee and here and there she also borrows some item with her as the case was with exactly the item that I demonstrated you This item was this item was placed here like this but as I had sorted out here um, everything pants shirts and so on and so forth it was the police investigators who demonstrated me when they hijacked me from it started already when I was when I went to the Belarus they started to demonstrate me how they are going to infest the room with the mods and even demand from me to destroy certain items some even burn them to destroy the eggs from mods uh, when i was in poland they literally brought me from poland hijacked me from poland uh, delivered me in the house and demonstrated me inside of my room how they where they planted the eggs and to which items specially i have to pay attention to so that i would destroy the eggs you know this is a ultra violence i no longer will refer to this stuff as mk ultra but i'm going to refer to this as ultra police violence because it doesn't make any fucking sense to talk about some kind of mk ultra sounds like scientific or something like that this is not scientific this is primitive as it gets you just have to be animal enough to do this to another human being and these are beasts these are not even people procalculated exactly where am i going to be allowed based on my mother's is domestic aggression domestic violence aggressive behavior to to take the clothing which they demanded for me to wash through a very particular procedure by using as much as possible softener they also instructed me is the one that destroys uh, the mod the eggs from the mods for which they guaranteed me they survived any kind of absolutely any uh, any detergents anything they did so because of damage because of the injuries they caused to to my skin 
In 2020, the police investigator uh, was in completely in, in uh, he, he, he feared, he deeply, deeply feared that physician, dermatologist, who examined me again during MKUltra, during having me drugged up, hijacked at the physician, uh, confirmed him finally that I still don't have a skin cancer despite my back being covered with um, more and more in uh, increasingly into uh, spots like dark spots and they insisted me it's not a skin cancer yet they really question what is going on um, he was so relieved when he heard that it's not a skin cancer yet and so instruction were that because of the moths that the clothing has to be left for two days inside of the softener for the fabric to go inside of the fabric as much as possible and kill all the eggs from the moths that i'm saying just if you will investigate why this has a smell from the softener such a strong it's because prior to the use of this and due to only storing my stuff here in this room so that i would not deliver here possible moths eggs from the moths uh, prior to the use if i would ever use this i would definitely go and leave this inside of the bucket hot water for a day or two so that it would release all the chemicals all the softener chemicals because before i would even wear any of this stuff but for the storage sake i did so this is this is how crazy this shit is this is how insane this is how sick slovenian police this is how far this police the so-called police have gone yeah don't get me wrong look let me demonstrate you something this is what they hoped i would be video recording they hope this kind of stuff uh they were hoping that i would have the laptop from the food that they you know that kind of stuff that that's what they wanted that's what they were catching themselves so onto that's what they suggested they would do the stuff like this no they're doing it for completely other stuff this is to drive the person completely insane this is basically how I wash the clothing. So it is completely, completely odorless. I wash the clothing, not accordingly to recommendations of the dermatologists, but I wash all my clothing before I wear one. I hand wash one. I don't wash one with a uh, machine wash or even use a dryer. I do the hand wash. Uh, I uh, thoroughly wash, absolutely wash the clothing and then I rinse the detergent to degree with the hot water to degree that there is not even one bubble or absolutely any trace left, detergent left in one. You understand? If I wouldn't be doing this, I probably would have been already long, long, long ago dead by now. Because to what I stated to you, they have done to me in 2008, when they guaranteed me that I would have a skin cancer. They started with this stuff actually with the 2004, when they were using detergent soup. Soup used to clean soap bars, used to clean the clothing. They used that kind of stuff, the police did, Slovenian police did to literally wash my body whenever I was hijacked from United States of America to Slovenia. Not 2004, but they started with this stuff like in 2002. You understand what the fuck I'm saying? Where I'm coming from? That's what I'm trying to say. This is basically what I'm trying to say. All this stuff that you see right there, all this stuff is being washed, hand washed. I am very proud about that stuff. They were laughing about this stuff. They destroyed me, the waistlines, they destroyed the rubber, and teach me, tutor me, 
how to put the elastic inside and fix it so that I wouldn't look like that and that I should saw these things. Actually, even throw away, Mama suggested, go and buy yourself another stuff and so on. You know, I don't. I don't. I am just, whoever is going to be doing, whoever is going to be investigating this stuff, this is how I wash. This is basically how I, how I uh, drain, uh, dry my stuff. And I'm really, really proud about it, about doing it like this, because this shows the discipline. This shows the obligation, dedication. This here is sweat, my friend. This is a commitment. They laughed about. They laughed about the stuff like this. They laughed about the stuff like that. But this is sweat. And I love it. I always put two shirts on me. One underneath. And the one that is good, intact in peace, atop of me. Because I'm using it to suck the sweat in it. So when I work out, when I do the exercise, I'm using this, I'm using two shirts. So it, it, uh, it's a cotton shirt that absorb uh, the sweat and gives me the opportunity to uh, to walk, hopefully still, cancer-free, you understand? My clothing, because it's hand-washed, should actually last about at least three times longer, if not more, than the clothing that is washed in a washing machine and dried with a dryer as I used to do in the United States. But I always still preserved sanity enough to make sure so that I would rinse with the hot water all the soap out. So don't, do not misunderstand me. If anybody is aware of what he's doing, skin cancer wise, this is here, I am the one. This is the legacy the police left me with, this kind of stuff. They destroyed, I don't know how many, all the underwear, they destroyed everything. They absolutely destroyed all the underwear. For this stuff here that you see, I, I do not know. I really don't know whether this is because of the used. It might be used, yeah, because it's the area where pants do have a tendency to, to break. Even that question is, it's a good question why that will be, but okay, uh, it happens. Um, however, the stuff in my hands, it will last you probably about twice as long as what the average police officer that is deployed at the police station would be using. Equipment-wise, or soldier, or whatever. Because, because of the stuff like this, you can bet. This outlasted. Everything that you are used to. Because I take care of this stuff. I watch absolutely everything what I do. It's not so simple as many would want this thing to be seen as. The way this stuff is done is by my mom taking on a daily basis as she go for her coffee and just exactly what I was told her friend in this house, Yerman Slauka, would do, would go and switch at times my items with items which were involved in MK Ultra and then deliver me damaged item. The item that you have seen right there, 100% was such item. These items, 
in the house of Tine and Zdenko Yerman. Zdenko Yerman is a police officer, really a criminal that was involved in MK Ultra before he even became a police officer. Since we moved to this village, he moved to the Kursko Brezhica area and his cousin, which is right here, Metod Yerman, who is keeping the stuff that was involved in MK Ultra because this individual is an investigator that, partici that participated absolutely during every butchery that took place in our house, not only in our house, but he was always present. Most of the time, this was the man who absolutely was everywhere, traveled to Russia and so on. He either keeps these items and is switching them with his relative, both are Yerman. Yeah, these are the these are the cousins. These are the cousins. She is his aunt, and as I stated, there are two brothers. One is Tina, and another one is Denko. Zdenko is a police officer who lives in, in Kirchko. Sometimes he comes for a visit. Tine lives here. And then they switch the items, delivering them back. If they are not destroyed by the Slovenian Postal Services, delivering them back in our house like this to cause problems, tensions, through my mother, literally. Very short description for this item, as I recall the words from Novo Mesto investigators, the missing part, um, a plastic part, you know, a plastic part that comes there, basically a holder for the GPS, was found under the seat. A little earlier, I went ahead and I moved this seat, I moved the seat, and I couldn't find any part. I couldn't find the part. But the person that has this part, with absolutely any doubt, is at least believes, maybe even, maybe will deliver one on a day which they anticipate uh, investigation will take place. This is why I have a big problem with the Slovenian police, because it's the people who do this stuff that are the people that believe will investigate this stuff, the colleagues. And it doesn't really work like this. My stuff was moving back and forth accordingly with the instructions of a criminal employed by the Novo Mesto police, whom I have uh, met when I requested assistance in respect to father's medical files year ago when he was taken to a general hospital in Novo Mesto, and director of general hospital Novo Mesto refused to cooperate with me, according to MK Ultra instructions. A criminal who met me at the police station ridiculed me at the police station. He laughed in my face, was one of the individuals who participated in this genocide since 1995 stated me, ridiculed me even for probably this, whatever the jacket was, that will be positioned and it would be like that he would be the one who would be doing this stuff, that would be like this, like on the edge, that it would be like the whole thing, like it's going to fall down and this is what your situation is, we're going to fuck you and the whole thing is going to fall down and it's going to be blah, 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 blah. These people, believe it or not, believe together with the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, yeah, they relied on this psychiatrist, that they will intimidate me, that I will actually fear to even video record the stuff like this and submit the police complaint to the police. That's why stalking with the ambulance vehicles, all the time sirens and uh, all kinds of subliminary signs that psychiatrist Peter Kapsch introduced during MK Ultra into torture, uh, suggesting me all the time during the night walks and so on, oh, look, wow, uh, when you see this, they're coming for you, it's going to be this and so on and so forth. And, you know, 
And occasionally he would set me up with uh, ambulance vehicles. Like the other day, as I was at the home for elderly people, literally they blocked the road. Literally they blocked the road. To what he suggested we will use to see if you're really intimidated or not. So this guy was actually calling for violence. He was calling for violence. Nurse Yanko, who was involved in this crime, works at Home for Elderly People, where my father is. This is an individual who was ultra-violent and was looking nothing forward to other than physical confrontation. Then there is another cookie that's over there, also violent, that is from direction of towards Shmarieshka to Plitze, over there, that also... Uh, was looking forward to, and so on. Is the whole bunch of cookies at this home for elderly people believe that they will be capable to do something for the police, and so on and so forth. They hoped for, yeah. This item was missing. I couldn't see any fucking item here. This item was completely recharged together with a laptop. This item was completely recharged together with a tablet. And it was nicely, properly placed right here, like this. It was placed right here together with the GPS and so on. And it was mom, unless it was somebody else, that was moving this item that finally found itself like this on the floor with mom yelling, screaming, engaging in domestic violence against me, psychological violence against me on how I have no right to store my stuff here. If we go a little bit earlier, it was the mother that enforced together with the police plantation of the moths inside of my room. They trashed, they destroyed my room. Now she had a problem with this here and she was with this little place here that I would store the stuff. Now this is the stuff that started to bother her. And in meanwhile, they continue to perform exactly the same activities as to what they have done in the past. That's what basically draining the batteries from this laptop. They drained the batteries literally from uh, what you see right there is uh, another GPS. This is not a tablet, excuse me. Um, and also a tablet. There also is a tablet, which I charged. Uh, and at the same time, basically assuring that I would not have batteries basically die on me, so that batteries would function when the weather becomes a little warmer. Uh, sorry, I had to go and charge uh, the phone because the battery is going to die on me. It's now charging. That's good. Uh, the main core uh, of the police, what police wanted to accomplish, in my case, foremost at this stage, at this point in time, was to destroy, annihilate absolutely all the batteries. And they caused me enormous damage by destroying me the battery from the car. That battery was practically brand new battery. By doing something disgusting, like hiding absolutely any features that existed in the house, so that I could use to recharge the battery. That's one thing. The jumper cables. Um, the jumper cables. The batteries, the car batteries. Um, and as far as even jamming the brakes, which this car, this Citroën Xara, had a problem. They already evaluated through the mechanic in the village here, um, uh, jamming off with the brakes a car in a such a way that you cannot move one God knows, maybe even with the key, when you put the key in the ignition, when you start the engine, I don't know if I'm going to be able to move the car. It's like the, uh, the, the brakes would uh, glue themselves onto the discs. Except that um, I was the one who practically manually pushed one. 
inside of the garage. And I'm absolutely not the one that would go and pull the uh, handbrake inside of the car to the degree that it would be, we, we didn't have any kind of uh, ice this year during the summer. This is fucking, when I tell you this is fucking insane, it's beyond fucking insane. How they have done, what have they done to the car so that the car would, after I practically manually pushed one inside of the garage, glue itself with brakes to the discs? I have no fucking idea. But they were playing with the issue by literally having a tractor like you used to plow the field pull the car out of the garage so that the brakes released. Uh, do you understand the fucking lunacy of this shit? The main task they had, so yeah, my car is like this in this kind of situation. They completely destroyed the car. The car I'm left with basically to struggle. It's a struggle between me and between the mold. It was a tremendous struggle between me and mold, but the car was completely destroyed as far as issues that I told you. The battery, they destroyed me. Uh, as far as other batteries, tablet, GPSs, and so on, they wanted to destroy absolutely everything. They did not waste time. I know that the part that I demonstrated to you was stolen from me. I know that part was stolen from me because the police investigator who was involved in it in 2020 a gangster, 2021, a criminal, 2022 criminal met me, I wrote about on the block, with a blue station wagon investigator, Volkswagen Golf, blue color station wagon, probably manufactured in 2017, at Brusnice, where he posed, uh, hi, uh, how are you, and so on. Um, we got the call uh, uh, that somebody is walking around some house over there and so on. There was some house isolated away from the road. And as I walked through there, I went past that house and viewed that house, who was actually whose owners were involved in MK Ultra since 1995. He wanted this laptop physically. He told me that he will get this laptop no matter what. And I believe just as the holder, the mount for the GPS was stolen from my GPS. I don't know exactly which was the police investigator who stated he's got the same GPS as I have, but that he's got a broken mount and that he will get mount from me basically he was stolen and it will be replaced with mine i did not understand uh what exactly they mean by this i did not even understood anything on the mk ultra but it becomes completely evident when you add these things together that it was actually replaced stolen he too insisted that he will get this laptop from me in other words he will get his laptop fixed he liked Fujitsu laptops, this particular laptop. All the police investigators had their own Fujitsu laptop. Going back to, tracing back to, I don't know what the year was, 1998 or whatever they did, 2002, whatever. I think 2002, something like this. They all had this laptop, Fujitsu laptops. They were playing with the Fujitsu laptop. Fujitsu was involved in it. Entire Fujitsu company was involved in it, but Fujitsu did not involve itself to cause damage like this. Japanese wanted to help, but Slovenian police took this shit with the Pollocks onto another level. This was sold to me in Poland, this laptop, but the day I purchased uh, a pick, make a pickup of the laptop next to apartment where I lived, in the city Lodz in Poland, which is located about maybe 200 meters from Galeria. It's called Galeria. Uh, it's a, like a main train station over there too. 
not too far from main fire station, which was right next door to me, where I had this apartment. Um, they had this Allegro boxes, mailing services, where I would go to pick it up. And uh, the problem was that Slovenian police caused damage through the Polish postal services before I even collected the laptop. And the laptop came with a damaged wire like this. It was completely curled, like you would curl something completely. As soon as I was delivered, hijacked to Slovenia by Slovenian police, Slovenian police insisted me that this is a laptop, in fact, I shouldn't even use, because it's the kind of laptop that has a charger destroyed. This is the laptop that individual, about 13-inch police investigator with a blue station golf, station wagon, golf, insisted me we'll get this laptop no matter what. He was crazy about this laptop. Something went wrong on his laptop. During MK Ultra, they were teaching me about 10 years at least. 10 years they were teaching me why the Fujitsu laptop had to be cleaned up the, the airflow system. And the people who are involved in it insisted me that I have to take this with me all the time, the laptop. And I did not understand what the fuck happened. Uh, it was, it's too heavy. I came from Poland with a broken spine. Police knew I'm going to have a broken spine because Slovenian police, after the injuries Polacks inflicted on my spine, during MK Ultra butcheries in Poland, which started in 1995, the Polacks wanted to kill me, basically, together with the Slovenian police, made me cause myself injuries, work in a factory, in a factory drugged up, picking up boxes, continued in Slovenia to cause more damage to the spine when walking and even disallowing me to sleep properly in a proper position sitting me at the desk that I, in a way that I shouldn't, that I was causing myself additional injury, harm, doing this kind of stuff. It was this individual who, through the cooling system, had police completely jam laptop, or whatever they have done to the laptop. And then they tutored me how bad it's going to be for the laptop, which at one point in time, it's going to completely die on me because I will continue to use one. Completely, completely schizophrenic, paranoidic, schizoic, but more than anything, disgusting, repulsive, bestial, sadistic, murderous, as much as anything can be murderous behavior. So behavior, so murderous that Nurse Yanko, I was told during his work assignments at home for elderly people, walked around like a zombie, felt guilty as to his co-workers were looking at him strange. He alone admitted during MK Ultra that he feels crazy already because of the degree of torture they have done on me and no longer can even sleep. He started to get paranoid. He started to believe that people are looking at him in a funny way, that they see him in a funny way and couldn't get peace anymore. This is how bestial, this is how insane and violent. So this shit here too, what was stolen, I don't fucking know what was stolen, what they have done too, but they counted they will get this laptop. So I know that literally through destroying things, that I would be selling one and so on and so forth, through like this. Uh, the question is if that I would be selling one and so on and so forth. That's also babaluba, baba, babula, baba shit, because it could be that part that police officer investigator needed already stolen from this laptop and was replaced with a broken part from his laptop. All I wanted to say is police investigator stated that after removing the sofa, 
uh, not the police investigator, but the criminals that were involved in this from the Novo Mesto police station that it was under the sofa here somewhere, the broken part. Look, it really fucking matters not where the broken part is. Uh, they can actually place one during investigation here too, as they insisted they would do. Because this is a type of stuff they were catching themselves onto. They wanted, obviously, to make me as violent as possible, completely drive you completely nuts, insane. You know, that GPS costed me 150 euros, if not 200 euros. You're talking about fucking expensive appliances having destroyed. And maliciously battery, as you were able to see, I don't know if I demonstrated you or not, the battery fucking depleted, basically left deliberately, like fucking deliberately left on basically just to be depleted when in fact I charged one so that it could hold on throughout the winter so you must fucking admit you must fucking admit that it doesn't make sense to make a difference because I cannot carry absolutely everything with me and to carry absolutely everything with me the point about carrying absolutely everything with me was to portray me causing myself harm as far as the lymph nodes and the spine. You get it? This is violent. And it doesn't get more violent than this. From one criminal that used to go to Belgrade. That's a burger residence. That here is a quarter residence. That behind there is a Ul residence. This here is a Yerman residence I told you about. One police officer. Behind there is another criminal with the police officers. Paul Blastillo, I don't know how you say that. Um, official assignment as an investigator. A criminal who much of this crime even ran against me, all the way to another a neighbor here, so-called Donny Collins' neighbor, who tortured me inside of this basement with his stepfather inside of this basement. They tortured me with the neighbors, with Method Yerman, with Zdenko Yerman, with the neighbors, terrorized me, death threatened me, so on, hoping that I would return from the United States of America where I departed in 95 before I would even get a green card so that I could be stationed right next to the building where my father is located now. It's a building for the people with the special needs, with the, for the people with mental deficiency, for the people with the special needs. Uh, probably also for some people that are labeled as violent, God knows. Because to me, that place, it's like a zoo, actually. Uh, it doesn't appeal to me like a, like some kind of uh, civilized, uh, you know, how can I say? Um, I liked the sexy ladies that were employed in here, but I didn't like the fact when they stated me, well, uh, when they wanted to know how sexy, when they started to suggest me that I'm going to spend my entire life being locked in here on psychiatric drugs, subdued, suffocated with the psychiatric drugs. This is basically the place I come to visit every day, except that I go here to visit my father. These are the facilities that were involved in genocide against me as far as the home for elderly people. I stated even 1993. Home for elderly people was involved in my case probably since I was age 10. I actually have to see the pictures when this building was even built to understand what the fuck is going on with this stuff because it was this home for elderly people that 
was one of the locations, one of this MK Ultra stations locations where they would deliver me, uh, where director and everybody was uh, always so nice to me that in the vicinity of the Novo Mesto, in the region of the Novo Mesto, they came to conclusion that would be the best thing to be resolved for me, that would be resolved this case, would be at home for elderly people. And I am talking about year 19. 87, as early as in 1987, they came to conclusion that I get the best along with employees from Home for Elderly People, so they would, they would be the one they would resolve, help me resolve what the fuck you're going to help me resolve. You destroyed me 52 years. You got a real problem with it. You are trying to resolve and investigate your own, your own crime. But this is not crime, this is about extermination, this is about the genocide against me. Thanks for watching this video.